Modern psychology and psychiatry are a complete pseudoscience. Um, I had uh, several psychologists and it never helped me one bit. One of the psychologists always uh, asked the same question. How do you feel on a scale from 1 to 10? That was her question. Every, every time I uh, went to this psychologist, she was a woman, and she would ask me this question every time. How do you feel on a scale from 1 to 10? And I was just thinking, in which way? I mean, the, the question doesn't make any sense. I mean, do you mean in, uh, in conformity to my, um, uh, my uh, addiction or whatever the question doesn't make any sense how do you feel on a scale from 1 to 10 that's just insane I mean that's like a very stupid question anyway I lost my trust in psychology completely because they can't do anything they can just stroke your ego. That's the only thing they can do. You can, you can. They can ask why, 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 but why doesn't help you. I mean, everybody has sad stories, and the only uh, um, positive thing that could come out of that would be a stroking of your ego because everyone has sad stories and the only question that psychologists can ask is why but the question that you should ask is how and not why is why are you so sad why did your your, your father punch you in the face and why did this happen and why did this happen that doesn't lead anywhere it doesn't lead anywhere so psychology is a complete pseudoscience just like psychiatry history of psychiatry um, <clears throat> these people basically um, were uh, workers in insane asylums and at some point they wanted to uh, be accepted as doctors but they were just workers in an insane asylum they kept the inmates uh, uh, peaceful by very very unpeaceful methods and at some point they demanded to uh, be recognized as doctors so that's psychiatry and I have an appointment with us with a psychiatrist every six months and I had done this for, I have done this for oh, the last 10 years or so and it never helped me one bit to go to a psychiatrist all they ask is why 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 and what they should ask is how 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 because the only person that will save you is you the only person that can save you is you no psychologist can save you not the not in the least bit 
I had one psychologist who uh, used to uh, smoke cigarettes with me and we used to leave his office and then he would um, be honest with me and I used to tell him about um, I used to tell him about uh, uh, religion and uh, um, my status in religion and uh, my Jesus revelation. And he looked at me very earnestly and said, if anyone can make it out of this, then it's you. Because change only comes from within it never comes from without and this psychologist knew exactly he hinted at that he didn't say it but he hinted at that that he cannot save anybody he cannot save anybody so that must be a very depressing job and <clears throat> he was a very very funny guy he was a very bright guy and he really wanted to help people and he really wanted to help me but he told me that <clears throat> when when we were out of the office and nobody could hear us he told me that yeah, if anybody can make it then it's you because like I said change only comes from within and not from anybody else nobody can save you nobody but you yourself and the change does not come come from the intellect the change comes from the heart so you you have to have a change of heart and that's very hard and that's maybe uh, an uncomfortable information but that's the truth also I want to talk about uh, a depression which they um, um, claim to be able to heal with SSRIs like this I have another one this one and I even have a third one and uh, these medications these SSRIs they they cannot help you one bit the only uh, once uh, uh, an, an antidepressant worked with me and it was <clears throat> it was so that I got got this SSRI uh, prescribed and uh, I took it <clears throat> at the doctor and I went out and I thought wow so this this world is so beautiful and so wonderful and the flowers are, are smelling so good and the sun is so uh, wonderful on my skin and then the next day I went to the doctor and told him about it how much uh, this medication help, helped me and he looked at me completely confounded and said to me that's not possible it takes at least a month for it to build up in the body so this was the uh, placebo effect and um, <clears throat> and since then I have taken so many SSRI medications that I could fill this whole room with them and they never helped me the only thing that it did for me maybe was to make me into a robot to make me like um, <clears throat> uh, 
and con controlled from uh, from the outside or something. So SSRI medications won't help you. And they will do more damage than good. So, yeah. And the other thing I want to talk about um, is how uh, psychologists and psychiatrists treat depression. And that's a very tricky question, but um, the question is, is depression healthy? And I think it is. I think depression is healthy. Again, I think that depression is healthy. Because if you are in a life-threatening situation like I was, you should be depressed. Because it's... Psychology and psychiatry treat uh, people always as individuals. So you are always an individual in psychiatry and psychology. And the individual is treated for his symptoms. And one of the symptoms is depression. But we are tribal. We are tribal people. We, even if we, if, if we meet some, some people for, for one time or something, they will leave a lasting impression on us. So we are absolutely tribal people. We are the we are psychologically dependent on the tribe. And if you become useless to the tribe, you become depressed. And And uh, what medication could save you from that? There is none. If you are useless to your tribe, uh, suicide, uh, for example, in the Native American population, was not a taboo at all. Or in the Samurai uh, civilization, suicide was an honor. If you become useless to your family and your tribe and you lose your honor and your good standing, then suicide was something that was granted to you. You had to ask for permission to commit suicide. And it was not a taboo at all. And your best friend uh, would um, um, would um, do away with your head. So you had the the short sword to cut up your your uh, stomach up to the sternum which must be very lovely and your best friend was there to cut off your head so in the samurai tradition suicide was not uh, taboo it was an honor to do that you saved your honor by doing that so is depression healthy and I would say absolutely it is because the only thing that will make if, if you are in, in a bad situation you should be depressed if you if, if, if you're in, in an absolutely bad situation and you're not depressed then you have some very deep psychological problems like uh, malignant narcissism for example 
and uh, you should be depressed and going to um, the psychologist and uh, or psychiatrist and taking antidepressants never works it does not work at all I, I have these antidepressants here sertraline and aripiprazole and I stopped taking them like a month ago or, or, or longer and it didn't make w uh, a difference one bit so going to psychologists and psychiatrists is just stroking your ego I know that's an, an uncomfortable information, but that's true. And I witnessed it for a long, long, long time. These people have no clue what they are talking about. These people have le less information than I do. And some of them are aware of that and they become very depressed because they are going into this uh, field of, uh, of, of medicine uh, idealistically but they can't help anybody so imagine that being a psychologist and being not able to help anybody that's really really bad so depression is a healthy thing because the only thing that changes you is not hope hope is a beggar the only thing that changes you is despair real real despair and being desperate that's what changes you thank you for listening